Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Donna, a classical singer, and this video is about how to get in the height easily, of course, without struggling. So before I start showing you some exercises, I want to explain some things about it, what I think it's the best to think, or so just my opinion, my experiences. So um, three important things actually. Not too much, um, but important. The first one is just take your time. Learning singing takes years, like, and it's normal. It's okay, you just have to accept that. Like, um, for example, uh, to become an adult, does it take uh, one day or one year so you can clearly see the change or just write it down how it went? No, it's a progress and it's maybe never ending progress. And that's the same with singing. Your body, your your mental um, awareness, uh, so your brain and your soul are all in progress. They are all um, expanding, learning and changing and not in the same speed and not in the same way. So the second one is avoid forcing it. So when when it's not working, or even if it worked already out, so you just have a bad day, then don't do it. Or do it in a way that it's still not hurting and it somehow works. And the third thing is avoid overthinking. For example, you're in a piece and, or you're in a concert, you're singing the piece, you're nervous because, for example, you're not um, experienced enough or just, yeah, you're just nervous on that day. Um, and there is a part you have to think technically, but don't think like, oh my God, this note is coming, this high note is coming, how am I going to do that? And I, yeah, oh, I already passed that note away. So, okay, then the next note I will do like this and it's no it's not working so of course there are parts and pieces where you have to think technically but you shouldn't so j just choose a word for you or a thought a picture that helps you and then just go through quite um, simple and don't start think from note to note no <laughs> yeah that was it and um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you other bad uh, examples, just leave it there. So I'm going to show you some exercises. Almost in every video, in, every, in almost every video, you can um, uh, hear me talk about Randstimme, so the edge of the voice, where you sing uh, less than piano, it caresses your voice, um, and it makes it warmer and it um, teaches your body or voice how to expand. And that is in the low register, but it uh, nourishes your high register. So I recommend to do Randstimme every time or start your warm up with that. And also as a, it's like a stretching at the end of your practice. And there is one particular one that it's a Randstimme and it's good for um, practicing how to open and focus uh, in the height. So it's, uh, it's a small G. So what I did, of course, I'm not, um, I never um, prepare myself only for that one note because you never sing just one note. No, I mean, almost never. You have to have this too. I mean, you have to have to have the room of this. So I already prepared for this too. And then start with an U and you have a very, very, very long U in your hand. 
second one will be focused and of course first up and then through the nose and then your rib cage is open and you open it up a bit more gently so it's focused rib cage is open you just have to let it in sink let it sink in your rib cage don't think up or something else just let it sink so reverse thinking The next one is with the chest voice and the height. It helped me a lot. When I was overthinking, I did this and then it was good. But sometimes I was overthinking too much, so I my voice was already tired and then no. Nah. I used to just just pick one note. This is an A flat, a small A flat. And just don't think think about what note is it because um, it's just a note that helps you and then here's the the main thing for example so this is this is a G um, a G2 and here we have a yeah another note an A flat so I'm just going to show it so what is this for the chest voice lets you open downwards and if you are good enough to imagine the high note while you are singing this then you just throw it in and because of the chest voice you're open enough to sing easily that high note and to sing it open enough. Yeah, and um, if it's not working, maybe it's easier for you to make a pause like ah, ah, but for me it's not. But um, if you're making making a pause, freeze. So let it open. Yeah, the. Next one is, um, I wrote it down here. Ah, uh, yes. It's, um, it's also an advice to do the exercises faster. Maybe your um, temper is, needs it to do it faster or, or it, Fast exercises uh, don't let you overthink. So here's one. Hmm. Where should I start? This is an A E major. And this is just um, it's so fast that it has to be in the right place and yeah and it has if it's fast enough and you you feel that uh, place where it sits then you just actually it's like you're throwing a ball against the wall and you're quite near i hope you understand so it just moves quite easily there and try to stay calm of course so if you go up Of course, you have to do something here, but here you're calm. It's down. So, yeah, this is the same like but at the chest voice. Uh, I also try not to over tell you, over explain it. And there is another one, for example, a coloratura upwards. <clears throat> First, I like to do it with the um, J, yeah, no.
Yeah, so with the J, like um, if I'm doing ah uh, or o, oh, then ya, ya, or ya. And before that, before everything, I make a And I don't know, I don't know if you saw it, what I did, but I do actually in my head. So I I touch that u, u, and then I inhale it. Like I always say, just imagine a very, very long U in your head. And I'm doing that. I'm imagining it. It's like when before you have to knees, it goes up. And there is it. Your room is open enough. And that this U also loosens it up. So you just don't stress yourself. Okay, it's coming. <laughs> so. To end these um, these two exercises, I wanted to show you in the height. I want to say something that is, I think, very helpful. So, when you are higher, always imagine the highest note. In one phrase, always imagine that highest note in that phrase. And don't imagine like this. Imagine it like it's tickling your nose, it goes into your ears and then up. It's open, it's vibrating, that room is vibrating and you have it. Believe yourself, trust yourself, you can do it, it's there. And then just, just wait happily and excited, but calmly too. So from here till uh, your toes, you're calm, but ready of course. <laughs> And here, just open and you're waiting to start. Okay. And um, this is a, the last one is a gratis. <laughs> um, it's also good to know how to prepare your room or yeah, regulate your room uh, as you get higher. So Let's start with, and which kind of exercise? Um, let's start with an A1. For example, let's take Pamina's Achishwus. Oh. Yeah, I started badly. So, here till, I would say, D, D2. It's just enough to be open to be long too, but here comes a bit brightness. So you, you breathe between your, your mouth and your teeth, between your teeth and focus. Here you focus. So. too flat. Here you start to think longer and more you have this bite like something you have yourself twice in your head and it's doing like this and this is higher and have this French uh. It's, it's more longer and the top of it gets quite um, it's like a needle <laughs> now it's an F2 you get much more longer and it's an E I something like this so you do your stuff, you're open, maybe you're doing an O, oh, 
but somewhere there upstairs there is an e or an e that um remain you reminds you to to have that uh, french touch now now the french touch is here that was not perfect now it's an g flat g two flat and now it starts to be more uh, so like a france touch this is a g this is good it's good when you of course every time you make it longer i remember you and you can think an u, u, and an un at the same time, or just un. So. This is an A flat, A2 flat, um, of course, much longer. And don't forget, this is not coming with you, it's always down and calm. This is also an ah, uh, but it's a it's an angrier one. <laughs> A two Now it's here, it's opening upwards. It's getting wider. And it's an ah. Uh, so it's also in French ah. Uh, and an E, A, that reminds you uh, of that uh, pinch. <laughs> this is a B2 flat. Here, it's already an E. This is an H2, it's also an E, and you, you can start to think OO again at the same time. We came to C3. I'm not going to sing Achich Fuß anymore. Now it's also an E. And now, again, imagine it. And inhale a very, very long U. And on the top of that U, there sits an I, so an E. D3 flat is the same. D3 is the same. here yeah actually you can you can think u and e at the same time or just e or just u it's up to you so again um i'll go through i'm not going to make the video that long and i try to show you so now i explain too much and now i try to show you just
So I hope really that I could explain it um, simply enough that you could understand. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comment section and um, have a nice practice and have a beautiful day. See you.